In this problem, we're given uh, parametric equations, and what we're going to want to do is go ahead and find the equation of the tangent line to the curve at this corresponding uh, given value, which is t equals minus 1. So let's go ahead and solve. So the way we're going to do this first, or the first step, is what you want to do is find the slope, or the equation to find the slope of the line tangent, right? So we need to find the slope, and the way we're going to do that is by finding dy dx. But notice how we're given two different equations here. So dy dx, uh, you should have seen this in the earlier problems, but dy dx is essentially equal to dy dt over dx dt. So what we need to do is in order to find dy dx, which is going to be the equation where you can use to find the slope uh, of our line, right? We need to find dy dt and dx dt first. So let's go ahead and start with that. So this is x, right? So dx dt, let's go ahead and find the derivative of this, which is just going to be 3t squared, right? Move the 3 down, subtract 1. And then the derivative of 1 is just 0, right? So it's just 3t squared. Now let's do dy dt. So four, or t to the fourth is going to be 4t cubed. Uh, and then plus t, that's just going to be plus 1. So yeah, this is going to be dy dt and dx dt. Now let's go ahead and just plug them in, right? So dy dx is going to be equal to dy dt, which is this right here, 4t cubed plus 1 over 3t squared. Cool. So now we've got dy dx. And what we're going to want to do is evaluate this at this t value. So the t value they give you is the point we're doing it at. So what we're going to do is evaluate it there. So you can just write it like this. So t equals minus 1. So we're going to evaluate this. And then the number we get from this is going to be the slope of our, uh, our line, right? Of our line tangent to the curve. And then with the slope, we're going to be able to go ahead and solve. But let's go ahead and do this first. So plugging in minus 1, uh, you're going to get 4 times minus 1 cubed plus 1 over 3 times minus 1 squared. So minus 1 squared is just 1 times 3 is 3. Minus 1 cubed is still minus 1. Minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. Plus 1 is minus 3. Cool. So minus 3 over minus 3 is minus 1. So this right here is going to be the slope of our line. So minus 1. Uh, I'm going to write m equals minus 1 just so we keep it in mind. Okay, nice. So now what we're going to want to do is, remember how you did this in Calc 1. Uh, we're going to plug in some numbers into this formula. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Right, because this is going to go and allow us to solve for the equation. Notice how we have m, but we need y1 and x1. How do we find those? So we need to find them at t equals minus 1. So essentially what you do is just take your uh, t value they give you and plug it into this equation. Because that's going to give us our x coordinate and y coordinate at this point. So let's go ahead and do that. So x equals plugging in minus 1, plus 1. So minus 1 cubed is still minus 1. Plus 1 is just going to be 0. Now we'll do y, so minus 1 to the 4th plus minus 1. Uh, minus 1 to the 4th is 1. And then plus minus 1 is just minus 1, so it's 0. So really the point is 0, 0, so it makes this one kind of easy. So this right here is x1, this is y1. So now we can just go ahead and plug it in. So y minus y1, which is 0, so y minus 0 is just y, times m, which is minus 1 times x minus 0. That's just going to be x though. So y is going to be equal to minus 1 times x is minus x. Right? So this right here is going to be your equation. So y equals minus x. But yeah, so y equals minus x. This right here is going to be your answer. And uh, yeah, hopefully you found this useful.